So welcome to lesson 13 in our study of mathematical biology 1. So in this video we talk about sensitivity analysis. I am Boydu Okran Randolph, a final year student of mathematics at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Ghana, West Africa. And I'll be taking you through this lesson. So what does sensitivity analysis mean? So Sensitivity analysis enables the researcher to ascertain the effects of the parameters in the model on the dependent variable. So you might have a model, right, and you have some parameters in them. You'd want to know the effects of those parameters on the dependent variable. So for instance, the researcher may want to know if increasing a particular parameter will result in increase in the dependent variable or not okay so our main focus is going to be we are going to perform sensitivity index on r naught okay so you can be given r naught from any of the models that we have then you can be asked to find the sensitivity index of a particular parameter on r naught so this is a formula for it. So if you ask to find the sensitivity index of a parameter P on R0, then the formula is given by del R0 del P times P over R0, where R0 is the basic reproductive number and P is the parameter of interest. Okay. All right. So let us apply this to solve some questions so that the understanding will be clearer. So example, from the SEIR model, we are to compute the sensitivity index of beta and sigma on R0 and interpret the results. Okay, so our R0 has been given to be beta kappa over kappa plus mu all times sigma plus mu where our mu is 0 0.0113 our kappa is 0 0.1 and our sigma is 36 so note the parameter of interest here are all beta and after that sigma so we take the first one sensitivity index of beta on r naught so the formula will be del R0 over del beta times beta over what? R0. So this is our R0. We are supposed to differentiate R0 partially with respect to beta. So that will give us kappa over kappa plus mu all multiplying sigma plus mu. Okay. The beta will go away. And after that, we come and put it inside this. So, wherever you find the R0 del beta, we put this there. And this is beta, and this is R0. So, you realize that from here, when you evaluate this, this will come up. So, we have beta, so we have this side being the same. And this side will give us beta times kappa plus mu times sigma plus mu so you see that the beta here cancels the beta here this cancels this this cancels this this cancels this so you're going to get one times one which will give us one so plus one just to indicate the sign so evaluating this is giving us plus one so now let us interpret this result so the plus sign indicates that there is a direct relationship between beta and r naught if it was a negative sign then there will be inverse relationship between them and the value one means that a unit increase in beta will result in a unit increase in r naught so a hundred percent increase in beta will result in a hundred percent increase in what r naught so that's how we compute the sensitivity index and when you get your value, this is how we interpret it. 
So now let's go to the second one. That's the sensitivity index of sigma on R0. So the formula will be there R0 over del sigma, then times sigma over R0. So now let's find the R0 del sigma. So R0 is given by this. We can rewrite this in this form, right? Okay, to make our differentiation simple. So since you are differentiating with respect to sigma, that means the whole of this becomes a constant. So we put that one somewhere, and when you differentiate this, we bring the minus one here. We differentiate what is inside with respect to sigma, that gives us one. Then we maintain this and subtract the power by one, so we get this, right? So we're writing this, well, it gives us, going you multiply the negative one, so you get minus beta kappa, then kappa plus mu, then in this one to is the same as one over sigma plus mu all squared. So you have over sigma plus mu squared. So after getting the R naught, the sigma, we put it inside the main formula, which is this one. Right? And that gives us this. So you can see that here, this will move up to give us this equation here. So beta kappa cancels beta kappa. Kappa plus mu cancels kappa plus mu. This cancels one of this. All right. So we then be left with minus sigma over sigma plus mu. So we were given values for sigma and mu. So we can then make replacement, substitution into this to get this. And evaluating this gives us negative 0 0.9997. That's approximating to four decimal places. So now, how do we interpret our results? So the negative signs means that sigma and R0 are inversely related. And the 0 0.9997 means that a unit change, let me see, a unit increase. in sigma will decrease R0 by 0 0.997. You know, that's because they are inversely related. So that means a unit decrease in sigma will also result in what? Increasing R0 by 0 0.997. Since they are inversely related, when you increase one, it decreases the other. I hope you get it. <laughs> and when you decrease sigma, it will increase R0. So that's it with sensitivity analysis and uh, applying it to find sensitivity index on uh, basic reproductive number R0. So thank you very much. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. So our next video, we will talk about head immunity. Head immunity. Okay, so thank you very much and see you in the next video.